Okay, so in light of me going to college in a few months, I'm thinking of Nanny and how much I wish she could have been here to see me graduate. Um, I guess I only know her as my grandmother up until she passed away when I was 12. So what was she like as your mother before I was born? Hmm. My mom, when she raised me to be independent, she had me washing, uh, folding washcloths when I was little. She uh, taught me early skills so that I could be independent as a young person. One of the stories she's told over and over again was when I was in preschool that I was the one that took care of the other kids in the class. For example, I'd help, help them get their coats on when it was playtime and I'd go get tissues if they needed to wipe their noses. Things like that. She was uh, very passionate about her career. She was a nurse and worked in uh, various parts of Moses Coon Hospital for almost 40 years. But she was also very family oriented. Mom and dad were both very family oriented as far as taking care of, of me and um, raising me to be a successful, kind, um, independent young lady. Okay, so what kind of mother was she and how did she compare to your dad? Um, well, both of them were very involved in raising me. They were 12 years apart and it was my dad's second marriage. So um, she, at one point in her career, would work uh, weekends and dad would take care of me. And later in life, she went to work during the week at nights, and he would take care of me. As far as discipline, she was the one that would, uh, I guess, discipline me. Do you want me to stop this car and spank you? Of course, you know. <laughs> Who's going to say yes to that? But Dad was very protective. Mom was protective. But she was a little bit more lenient. I was about 16 years old, 15 years old, and wanted to go see Pat Benatar when I, uh, with one of my girlfriends. And it was just going to be us. She was going to drop us off. And, and my dad was, no, 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 you can't. You're not going to go to see a concert. What kind of music does this Pat Benatar sing anyway? And mom sort of fibbed and told dad, oh, you know, like Nat King Cole type music. And he was like, oh, well, I guess that's okay. Nat King Cole was smooth singing, calm, not a rock singer. But anyway, I got out of that. Okay, so I guess um, I was kind of lucky because uh, as a kid, you know, I got to live with both of my grandparents um, instead of, you know, only seeing them on holidays and things, which I guess that's what most people are used to. But, you know, I got to live with my grandmother. So... Um, why was it that, you know, you didn't put me in a daycare? Like, why, why was she the one that took care of me when you were at work? Well, two reasons. Um, she had come to the point in her career that she was ready to retire. Um, my mom and dad, with me, felt like that uh, I needed to be with them until I could communicate with them as a child and they felt the same way about you so as a result they did not want you going to daycare and she was ready to retire so it worked out so I went back to work and I would drop you off on the way to work at mom and my mom and dad's house and you would spend the day with her in fact the first time that I dropped you off she had not gotten a crib yet and so you got to sleep in an empty dresser drawer stuffed with blankets. But it worked out because you were little. <laughs> but from then on, you that's what you did during the day. You went and hung out with, with my mom. Unfortunately, two weeks into me going back to work, my dad suffered a stroke and he was immediately disabled. So they both got to enjoy you on a daily basis, or at least when school was in session. And um, you guys would go to the grocery store and go to lunches and go shopping. Um, just have a good old time. So 
what was that like? No, I mean, not only when I was like a baby, but you know, when I grew up with her. Well, to begin with, for your your dad and I, it was total peace of mind knowing that my parents were um, taking care of you while we were at work. Total peace of mind. But it also helped foster a, a, a wonderful relationship. Like you said, most grandchildren don't have the opportunities to have a close relationship with their grandparents due to distance or work or, or whatever the, the reason is. But you guys became really close, and when you started preschool, when you were two and a half, she would take you, and she was the room mom, and she would bring the cupcakes, and and uh, typically took you to the doctor unless you were really sick, and I couldn't stand it, I would take you, but she was like your second mom, and my, my dad was, was part of that as well. Um, so I know that this August, I'll probably be five years since she passed away um, and there's a lot that's happened since then um, I'm going to college I'm going to graduate in about two weeks or so so you know if she were here is there something you would want to say to her um, if you could I'm sh I would tell her thank you again and how much how lucky your dad and I feel for her to have been such a important part of your life um, and that she had an impact on on your values and, and your personality and how I knew she would be so proud of you and what you've done and knowing where you're you're headed for the future but I'm sure she I hate that she's going to miss out on the next part of your life, but I know she would be proud of you if she were here today.